Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the GORUCK Ballistic Trainers, which is a really rugged and versatile pair of shoes that can work great for all types of activities such as exercise, rucking, or even travel. I'm a big fan of GORUCK's products in general, I've loved using their backpacks over the past couple of years, and recently we had a chance to take a look at their Jedberg rucking boots, which I was impressed by. I really love the subdued aesthetic and comfort that they offer, and so I was excited to have a chance to check out the Ballistic Trainers which you know, seem to offer a range of features that are meant to work well for tons of different activities, whether you're running, rocking, lifting heavy weights, rope climbing, they seem to be able to handle pretty much anything that you might throw at them, you know, while bringing the same sort of build quality and minimalistic aesthetic that GORUCK is known for. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience using these over the past couple of weeks, talk through the features that they have, and I'll also talk about how they compare to a lot of the other footwear that I wear on a regular basis. Before jumping into the video, I wanna thank the company for sending the shoes for me to test out. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel, we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. And so starting off with the overall aesthetic, these definitely have a pretty minimal and subdued vibe, almost Spartan-like. They're not gonna be winning any sort of fashion awards necessarily. You know, if you're really into sneaker culture, I have a lot of Ultra Boosts, for example, and I really like the particular look that they have. These are definitely a lot more minimal, and I think that works well as far as the environments that they're meant to be used in, right? If you're going into a gym, if you're running around outside, they're gonna look fine, but I also like that they're minimal enough that you can wear them with a pair of jeans or chinos and be able to walk around a city or even take them into a bar or something like that. So for travel in particular, this is very appealing because it just allows me to feel comfortable that I'm gonna be able to hike. I'm gonna be able to walk around the city all day. I'm gonna be able to go for a run if I wanna get some exercise in, and then I can wear these at night if needed if I'm not going to a super formal event. As far as the materials, these shoes, like all of GORUCK's products, feel very solidly built. Again, there's a ton of detail on the product page for this going into all the different kind of thought process that the company used as they picked out the materials. On the top here, you have an engineered knit wrap, which reminds me a lot of, you know, what you might find on a everyday running shoe. So it has a little bit of give, it's fairly lightweight, it gives you some breathability. And the rest of the shoe has a ballistic nylon exterior, which, you know, as we've seen from many different bags on the channel, is a very rugged, fabric that has a lot of abrasion resistance. It's gonna offer also some support just due to the rigidity that it has, so it's nice to see that incorporated throughout. Then as far as the midsole and the outsole, you have some really interesting and rugged materials here for the outsole. It's got a variety of rubbers that have been molded in here to give you plenty of support and stability when you're weightlifting. This is not gonna wear down when you're running. So far, it's felt great. The midsole has some materials that I believe we're brought over from kind of the rock climbing world and are gonna give you a lot of abrasion resistance to allow you to climb ropes and things like that. Again, it's not something that I do super intensely, but nice to know that I can do so if needed. On the front, you have plenty of flex so that when you're running or bending down to pick up some weights or doing things like that, any sort of explosive activity, the shoe is gonna give you enough movement. It's not gonna feel super stiff or uncomfortable. And it is not a super lightweight shoe compared to many of the running shoes that I've used in the past, but it also didn't feel as heavy as I would have expected for how rugged it is. So it strikes a nice balance there um, and is something that you know I wouldn't feel extra fatigued wearing for a longer period of time due to the weight. As far as the laces here, this, you know, it's pretty standard laces. They did include this additional looplet here at the end to allow you to kind of strap this in a little bit tighter, particularly if you're running for a longer distance or you want some extra support, you can really tighten things up if you need to. Currently I have the charcoal laces on the shoe, but they did include a pair of black laces if you prefer just the standard kind of blacked out appearance. And then moving into the sizing, overall I found them to be pretty true to size. I normally wear an 11 and a half and that's what I ordered here and they felt really comfortably. I actually like the fit on these a little bit more than the Jedberg boots that I looked at recently. These still are a little bit tighter if you have a higher instep or a wider foot. I did notice when I first put them on that this area here felt a little bit tight against my foot as mine is pretty wide. Uh, but because of the knit that's used here, you have a little bit more give than the Jedbergs had. And as I've worn them a little bit more, I've noticed that they've, they've stretched out ever so slightly to just make it a more comfortable fit gotten used to them and haven't noticed any issues with comfort after the initial wear. 
And as somebody with a wider foot, I really like to see the width of the toe box that's been included here. It gives you a lot of space for your toes. It doesn't feel like anything's cramped up, particularly when you've been exercising or walking for a longer period of time that your feet can tend to swell up a little bit. This managed to give you that extra bit of capacity so that you would feel fine regardless of when you were wearing the shoes. And then speaking of comfort, so far the shoes have felt great. I've worn these for hours on end, whether I've just been, you know, kind of going about my normal day to day. I've also done a few three or four mile runs with them, long rocks with my dog. Uh, and so far I have, not noticed any issues with the comfort. You know, as I mentioned at the top of the video, they don't feel quite as cushioned as, you know, my Ultra Boost that I, that I typically have gotten used to running with, but I didn't notice any fatigue or, you know, uncomfort in my foot as I was running. They felt great when I was, you know, using my rucksack, when I was picking it up and down, when I did a little bit of weight training in the gym, I really didn't notice any sort of complaints, nothing that stood out to me, you know, in my lighter usage of the shoes. So I was able to wear them all day. They, they have a really nice insole that's included with the shoe. And GORUCK actually includes two different sizes in case you want something that's a little bit thinner. I have the thicker one here that gives me a little bit more cushioning, which I'm a big fan of, but they have a thinner one if you prefer to be closer to the ground as you're lifting weights, or maybe if you if the shoe if just starts to feel a little bit tighter, that can give you a little, little bit of space back. So it's nice that they included both of those insoles as well as the additional pair of laces. On the bottom of the shoes, I also noticed that the traction on these has been fine. Even as I've kind of tested them out in a few wet environments, I haven't gotten into anything super slippery like a mountainside that's that's been rained on or anything like that. But for the most part, it feels like you have enough grip for any type of activities that you might want to be doing. Even if you're walking on a trail, you know, again, these aren't hiking shoes and they don't have the same level of grip as something like the Ultra Boost, but I haven't felt myself slipping or worried about that as I've been going about my activities. And then the last thing I wanted to do is a few comparisons with other shoes that I may have mentioned on the channel and throughout the video. First up, we have the Jedberg boots, which are also from GORUCK and have a similar level of support and you know thought that went into the midsole and outsole in particular. Um, as you can see, even as I've had these for several months already, I've used them quite a bit and they still look almost brand new. And I really like the aesthetic of these, you know, kind of minimal, similar to the ballistic trainers themselves. One of the biggest things to note here is the difference in sort of the uppers. So the Jedbergs are made out of kind of a deception canvas, which is, you know, what gives it that more subdued aesthetic, uh, which has been rugged, but it is not quite as you know flexible. It doesn't provide a lot of give, which is where I had a little bit of trouble with uh, my instep here and just the width of my foot was a little bit tight. So that hasn't given a lot. Still have to keep an eye on that as I'm wearing them, but you know, overall I don't really notice it too much. And then I really like just the use of the mesh upper here, which is a lot more flexible and makes sense given the potentially different use cases of the two shoes. But you know, same kind of thoughtfulness, durability, and you know, just different aesthetic if this is something that you prefer. And then I also have here the Lems Chukka, which I've had for a while now. And this is pretty interesting, especially when you think about the the heel to toe drop on a variety of shoes. So the Lem's shoes are more kind of barefoot style shoes. They're zero drop. And GORUCK has some thoughts on this on their site specifically. Think that they feel that that doesn't offer enough support and comfort. Basically, you know, you're gonna be kind of miserable after using these shoes for a significant period of time, particularly if you're trying to run or walk. You know, this is definitely something that I've noticed. I'm not as big of a fan of the barefoot style shoes as I am as kind of traditional running shoes um, that give you a little bit more height on the heel to toe drop. Now, of course, GORUCK also says that it's not great to go overboard with that as some weightlifting shoes can have a 20 millimeter heel to toe drop or something like that. So what they've done with this is that they've, you know, I think gone with eight millimeters. So it kind of tries to find that balance where it's a little bit more support than what you find here, where it really is just a completely flat shoe. You know, this is again, barefoot style. There's a lot of people that are big fans of this type of footwear and are maybe used to using it. Um, but GORUCK is definitely a fan of having at least a little bit more heel to toe drop. Again, you can see that sort of difference there. Um, and definitely check the site to read up a little bit more about what they think. As far as the aesthetic, you know, they're very different types of shoes. You have something that's meant for exercise and something that's a little bit more casual wear, the versatility for, you know, using with a little bit of a nicer outfit for maybe work travel or something like that. Um, and, you know, just, just a little bit of a different sort of philosophy as far as the technology use, but still both very rugged shoes. 
And then the last one that I have here at the moment are the Nike Free Runs. These are the ones that I use most often in addition to the Ultra Boost. I wanted to kind of bring these up as, you know, I know they're, they're fairly well known and popular. I really like the sort of knit upper that they have. It reminded me a little bit of sort of the vibe that the ballistic trainers were going for. Uh, this obviously feels a little bit more rugged. This feels a little bit more breathable. Um, and then these are much more lightweight. And you know, the support that these offers, I honestly don't think is anywhere near as good as the one on the ballistic trainers, although these are pretty comfortable. This just makes me feel like I have a ton more um, protection as I'm doing different types of activities. I know these are meant to be specifically geared towards running a little bit more. Um, and so it kind of shows in how you're wearing them. So again, if you're not looking for something that's very specifically tailored to something like running, and you wanna have maybe a little bit more padding and you don't need that super lightweight, that's definitely gonna be something to keep in mind. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the GORUCK Ballistic Trainers over the past couple of weeks. You can currently purchase these on the company site for about $125, which is a bit of an investment, but to me it feels like a pretty reasonable price considering the build quality and the comfort that the shoes have to offer, and they also seem to compare well to other similar shoes in this price range. And so as I was testing these out, the first shoes they reminded me of were the GORUCK Jedberg Rucking Boots, which you know are of course boots, so they're gonna be a little bit different than this. Aesthetically, they also don't have the same features necessarily, but they are very well built and comfortable. They offer a ton of support specifically for rucking over longer distances when you're carrying a lot of weight. Also the Jedberg specifically, which are a little different than GORUCK's MAC-V, they have a more a subdued aesthetic that's meant to blend in, you know, kind of to the urban environment. They don't look quite like military or jungle boots. And so I really like that aspect of them, particularly when I'm traveling with a long pair of pants, they just allowed me to kind of blend in. And I could also, you know, take them out at night to a bar or something like that. So those have held up very well as I've been testing them out. They still look great. They've been comfortable. And if you prefer more of a boot style shoe, particularly if you want something that you can take with you on a trip, then those are gonna be a solid option to consider. The next shoes these made me think of, not necessarily from a durability and training perspective, but more from a versatility perspective, are the Tropic Feel Canyon and Sunset shoes, which I've used a ton over my travels over the past year. They're very versatile and lightweight. They're specifically meant to be taken into the water so you can swim with them and they're gonna dry out really quickly. I really like their lacing system so you can just slip the shoes on and off. They have a nice kind of modern aesthetic so they look like regular sneakers, not like weird travel shoes or anything like that. And their insoles are very comfortable. I've worn them for longer periods of time with and without socks. I haven't run into any issues. So if you're looking for something that's gonna offer a lot of versatility, particularly for traveling, that you can still get away with for a hike and that you can toss into the water, those are gonna be a great option to take a look at. The last pair of shoes that I'll mention here are the Lem's Chucka Boots, which I featured on the channel a while back, and those still have held up very well. They look great. They're gonna work with, you know, maybe a nicer outfit to take into the office, explore a city. They're not quite meant for training in the same way these are or that the Jedbergs might be. They are zero drop shoes, so if that's the type of shoe that you like to wear, I know some people have that preference and there's specific benefits that come with kind of that barefoot style shoe, um, which, which might be of interest to you. Ruggedly built, they come in at a similar price range. And so if you're looking for a kind of versatile travel shoe that you know is also gonna be a little bit more packable, then those are gonna be a fantastic option to consider as well. With that being said, the GORUCK Ballistic Trainers hold up really well against those options and against many of the, you know, kind of more mainstream training shoes that I've tried out in the past. And if you're looking for something that's gonna be really durable with a subdued aesthetic and that's gonna offer plenty of comfort and support, then these are gonna be a good option to take a look at. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the GORUCK Ballistic Trainers and how they compare to some of the other popular footwear that's currently on the market. And if there are any similar options that you think I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the shoes for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.